so I'm just crossing farm field. Oh, and it's freezing. Just look. Isn't that gorgeous? So let's go in. Right, so we are currently inside. Um, when I visited here before, it was, <coughs> excuse me, winter maybe. So the whole place looks so much different to me right now. See the beautiful ruins of this church here. And uh, I just keep keeping an eye on the gate. Um, I've locked it behind me, but you know when you're on your own, your senses are heightened. Just that little bit more. So I think we'll start reading some of the the headstones that are in here. I'm just giving you a look at how beautiful it is in here. Actually, it's gorgeous. So it looks like here somebody has put chalk on the headstone, maybe to read it better. Um, and I completely get why people do that, but it kind of annoys me to still see the chalk left on these headstones. I know it doesn't make a huge amount of difference, but if you use a torch, it shows just the same. This is 1810. James Crosby. We have the sun and the moon there. There's more chalk in this one. Now this is uh, by the stonemason Jay Byrne. Up here we have the angel. You can see the chalk in this one as well. Her Lord on the cross. The sun and the moon. Jay Byrne is there. And this is Catherine Rowe, 1816. Absolutely gorgeous. And as I walk this way, you see more with that chalk still on the stone. So I wonder how long it ago it is since people were here. It is quite lonely down here. Now look at this one. And yes, the chalk does really, really show this one up, doesn't it? This is also James, but it's James Myler, 1845. And the side of this one. And also see sun and the moon. This is Myler as well. I'm sure of the surname there. Maybe Margaret actually. Margaret Myler. 1801. Look at the detail in that one. little iron cross with Catherine Smith. She was the great age of 81 when she passed in 
Okay, I've just spotted someone in the field. Um, that's the worst about being on your own. Um, <clears throat> it could be someone with um, going fishing. There's a stream quite close to us there. I got the just a glimpse of him. Okay. The gate is closed, so I'd hear if somebody comes in I'd hear them. Now look at this. It's like um a water font there. Oh, I'm, I'm a little bit on edge. As I said, we are in the middle of a field. It's quite lonely down here. My car is probably half a mile away, as I said. Um, here lies the body of Margaret Furlong, alias Rossiter, who departed this life September. 1788, age 72. Also, her son, William, 19, or sorry, excuse me, 1795, age just 55. And this is definitely Jay Byrne as well. See, the headstone is leaning kind of sideways. There's the signature. Look at that. 1788 and 1795 there. This one says 1777. Looks like Patrick Furlong. He was 78 when he died. Oh, it's cold. Look at that. Now either people were extremely small or the runes have sunk into the ground or the ground level has increased. I'm not quite sure. There's one here just hiding. Wow. So well preserved. It's strange they didn't come in and put chalk on these ones, isn't it? Look at that. This is also Jay Byrne. Here lies the body of Walter Warren. 1789 there. Gorgeous. So this is into a separate section of this church here and um, I presume it's lost its whole side here. It certainly looks like it has. Don't let the blue skies um, fool you. It's actually freezing cold. Stone here from Margaret's Oil. That must be some of the wall that has fallen. We have a tombstone there as well. Right, let's get back out. That was, I don't know what that was, a stone or a, a branch moving. Whew. 
just show you the the stream and the river that flows through right at the side of this old graveyard so I'm sure that man was um, going fishing probably see lots of the grave markers we actually have some burial mounds here look at that guys that has given you an idea of just how old uh, this little cemetery or graveyard is I would say it's a graveyard because we have the ruins of the church conquer shell we used to collect those as kids wow I'm just here Conquer brings back great memories as a child. Lots of iron crosses in here. Look at this. Nothing left on them. Isn't that just gorgeous? Wow. And there's not much information at all on this area other than the area is known as Drina big old tomb here look the size of this let's see if we can read it hello sorry oh yeah 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 no problem no, that I uh, yeah, completely understand. Okay, bye bye. Okay, that was somebody. Um, just came to the gate there. I don't know whether he is the um, farmer, but he just I don't know. He asked me what I was doing here. I told him I was doing making a video and he just basically mumbled something I couldn't hear him and then he just said close the gates and um, when you're leaving because his if it is the farmer I don't know whether it is or not but whoever it was just um, when you go into the field there's the gate into the I'm shaking <laughs> there's a great or sorry there's a gate into the graveyard and then you go into the field and then just outside of the field you know when you come into the field there's another gate and I suppose people are leaving that open when they come I don't know I don't know anyway we will um move on let me see okay we're not going to be able to read any of that unfortunately but look at that wow the whole side of it is um is gone and where it's gone maybe it's fallen in will we we'll have a quick wow we'll have a look in gosh that is deep okay i don't know why i'm whispering probably because he is oh, i'm all on edge now it's frightening me Okay, so that's how far it goes down. We have what's left of rails. That's obviously the wall that's in there. But so many people ask us, um, you know, are people buried in the bricked part of the tomb here or underground? So you can clearly see that it goes way down. Wow. Wouldn't want to drop the phone there now, would I? So I can see a bit of an old rail or something, a little bit of rubbish and lots of stone. So I presume that the stone is actually from the side of this. Okay.
Michael Devrix, 1903. And there's a Margaret there as well. Some primroses coming up. There's some daffodils. This is Devrix as well. Whoops. Uh, Nineteen ten Dora Margaret Everett, nineteen oh nine, and Lauren O'Leary, nineteen oh four. Oh, look, so this one was some stage somebody tried to repair it. And there's one behind. Wow. Jesus on the cross, serpent at his feet. Temple there. Mary. Um, here lies the body of Margaret Murphy, 1795, age, the age is gone, no she was 31 sorry, age 31. McKenny. Bala, Bala Lock, looks like. McKinney. So is that the stonecutter's name there, maybe? Wow. 1795. So that's somebody new I haven't seen before. Look at that, though, guys. I believe that's Mary of... Mary Magdalene. Oh, excuse me, it's so cold. My nose is running. It's a recent enough headstone. Unfortunately, the marble, you know, it's obviously much newer than what we've been reading, but it's not holding up. It looks like Thomas there. I don't see a date. Well, obviously, it's newer. Crazy bird. <laughs> I obviously disturbed him. Oh, look at this one in between the trees. Oh, look. We have like a chain hanging from the tree here. Gosh, there's no writing on that at all. Unless... Oh, God, that sounded like the gate opening. I don't know whether that was the gate opening. I heard like a noise, but it could have been just, you know, like the trees rubbing against each other. Whew. I don't think so, I don't hear anybody. This was used as a handball alley, would you believe? The plaster decided the church. We used to play handball just in here, in this area, up against the wall. It's basically two people, maybe four if they were playing doubles and they just hit the ball against the, the wall. It's an old Irish sport, so I'm not sure whether um, people would know of it.
when you're already alone in a place that's you know um pretty remote your senses are always on high alert and then whoever that was just i know he was only asking me to keep the gates closed and then that noise so I, this video has just been me feeling on edge and the moral of the story is don't go anywhere on your own and it is terrible but that is the life and the times that we live in unfortunately and i want to read a couple more and then i am out of here Lil Murphy Drina, 1915 to 1934. Wow, look at that, isn't that just beautiful? Lil Murphy, rest in peace, Lil. A little bunch of snowdrops growing behind her there, just in the corner. Way off out there, you probably won't see it. Way off there. Is the sea. We have the stream. Beautiful ruins. And uh, this area is actually beautiful. The last time I was here, I did have grave visitations, but he's working today, so I decided to pop out and take a visit. And uh, it's been beautiful and I've been scared. Look at that. Right guys, that is it. I get myself out of here, get into my car and go. I think I deserve a coffee after that. I don't see anyone <clears throat> anyone at the moment there's a farm just up there. There is a house and one right there so I don't know where he came out of. The gate is just up here. Right, so guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to give the video a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and it helps me a lot. But for now, guys, take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you all again soon. <laughs>